So the much anticipated ODM rally that was to be held uh, at Kibera's uh, Kamkunji grounds and was to be addressed by Prime Minister Raila Odinga uh, took off, but then uh, the chief guest <laughs> did not show up. Raila Odinga was a no-show at uh, the ODM's uh, Kamkunji grounds this afternoon. So after the explosive statements by Honorable Atienda Moro and uh, Honorable Senator James Orengo, these two are the leading uh, counsels for Honorable Dinga. After what, after what they claimed yesterday, uh, that uh, Deep State was keen on supporting Prime Minister Raila Dinga's campaigns, uh, looks like uh, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta may have reached out to Raila Dinga and uh, promised to sort out the little matter. So reliable sources uh, from within the deep state indicated that uh, the president may, uh, may be meeting Prime Minister Raila Odinga on Tuesday for a tete, a tete to sort out whatever little issues that there are. That there are. So <laughs> for those of you who are waiting for explosive statements from Kibera, uh, sorry for disappointment, but this is typical uh, this is occupational hazard <laughs> of politics. So uh, there is always the issue of uncertainty. Politicians reach out to each other. And uh, to be honest, I think the move by the president uh, to reach out to Prime Minister Odinga uh, was well done uh, because sometimes it's good to de-escalate some of these tensions in the country. So that people have got an humble time, I think. Uh, so shots have been fired. Uh, camps will have to realign. Uh, celebrations by Musalia Mudavadi have to be put on hold. <laughs> yeah, so this is usual political banter that is going on as we head to 2022. So even uh, the Tanga Tanga guys who are like... Uh, kind of celebrating that uh, Prime Minister Dinga is really getting humiliated and maybe joining them, uh, would have to hold their horses. The point is that uh, we don't see any reason why a president cannot uh, hold onto the handshake at least up until after the referendum.